What would it take for us to finally figure out how to live in peace with each other here on planet Earth? In spite of all of our incredible advancements in science and technology and medicine and many other areas, sometimes it feels like we still have a really long way to go. So what are we missing here? Obviously that's not a simple question, but whatever the answer is, it's clear that it begins within. The Dalai Lama once said, we will never obtain peace in the outer world until we make peace within ourselves. World peace begins within each one of us. And that is such a powerful idea. I truly believe that if you and I can learn to find more peace from within, in the midst of this present moment, in the midst of all of life's ups and downs, that is a meaningful, significant contribution to all of us, to all of humanity. And today I want to share with you why that's more than just a nice idea. Because we now have scientific research that's discovering the fascinating ways in which our inner state of consciousness can affect our external physical reality on a deeper and more powerful level than we might be immediately aware of. You may have heard of Dr. Masaru Emoto. He gained worldwide attention for his fascinating research which found that certain thoughts and emotions and intentions can concretely affect the molecular structure of water. This is an image of an ice crystal taken from a polluted body of water. And this is that exact same water after a Buddhist monk spent an hour giving it blessings. The water physically transformed and you can also see that corresponding with the more positive emotions, the water is patterned in more symmetrical and beautiful and intricate shapes. Dr. Emoto concluded that consciousness can affect the physical properties of water. And even though this might seem counterintuitive, keep in mind that this is one of the key discoveries of quantum physics, that the simple act of conscious observation physically affects an atomic system. It collapses it into a reality. So it's already been scientifically verified that consciousness is fundamentally interconnected with the external world in ways that are still mysterious to us. I've also discussed on this channel the incredible research, which found that if enough people come together in group meditation, it can significantly reduce the occurrence of violence and crime in a given area. And the effects of mass meditation and reducing violence has now been demonstrated and validated by more than 40 different studies all over the world. It's no secret that we're all interconnected to each other as well as the universe around us. But on a deeper level than that, we are all one. We all emerged from the same source. Back when this universe was just beginning in the moments just after the Big Bang, we were all unified. And to this day, we are all expressions of the same fundamental reality like waves in the same one ocean of life. We exist as a collective, a collective consciousness. And from that perspective, it's obvious that our inner state of consciousness even though it feels small and limited and isolated, it does indeed have an effect on all of our human family. And every time that we are able to locate a feeling of peace and gratitude and love and self-love and compassion and positivity, every time we are able to bring that into our body, we are bringing this, that into this world and playing our part in creating a more peaceful, harmonious existence. Now this isn't to say that we need to try to be happy all of the time. Obviously that's not realistic and part of being human is experiencing the full spectrum of emotions. But there is a way to find peace and stillness in the midst of whatever is here. And that is the 
higher state of consciousness. That is the more enlightened perspective that all of the world's wisdom teachings and spiritual traditions are trying to point us towards. They all tell us that true peace comes from within. True peace is not to be found by controlling and changing the circumstances of our lives, but by realizing the deepest truth of who we are. And this present moment is the doorway to realizing that for ourselves in order to find the true peace and contentment that we are all looking for in one way or another. At some point, we have to pause our search and just allow life to be as it is and allow ourselves to be as we are. Just pausing and observing what's here. It's similar to the blossoming of a flower. It can't happen by force. <laughs> There's nothing that we could do to peel open the seed and pull the flower blossom out of the seed. And in the same way, true peace blossoms effortlessly, naturally, out of what we are. When we settle in to this present moment, when we surrender to life as it is, if only for a moment. There is this powerful spiritual quote that what we are looking for is within where we are looking from. And when you learn to find that true peace from within, <laughs> that is such a gift, not only to yourself, but to all of humanity and to all of infinite existence. Thank you.